What's up, y'all? Okay, I've been holding out on y'all. I've got the best possible breakfast slash pre-workout meal that you can make quick, easy, cheap, in the comfort of your own home with the power of the master microwave. Okay, so let me show you the, the ingredients up front here. These are some of the things I'm gonna be using. If you wanna take a screenshot, that way you can pick it up at uh, Kroger or your local supplement shop. I got this from Complete Nutrition. You can use any protein powder that you want to. Just remember that all of them cook a little bit different, okay? So, got the uh, Samoa cookie protein powder here. Uh, first step here, I'm gonna take the cream of wheat. One pack is 20 carbs. It's easy to calculate. I have a lot of my clients use cream of wheat or cream of rice. It's a fast digesting carb source. So you don't really want some heavy carbs or anything heavy uh, to be exact on your stomach prior to your workout. It's gonna uh, take away from your pump. All the blood's gonna go to your stomach trying to digest the food. You don't want that. You want the blood in the muscles. So. One pack in here, uh, I recommend like a ceramic or glass bowl. Uh, preferably use the same bowl every time. That way you're gonna know how it cooks because all of them heat differently. So I'm gonna add a little water here. I don't uh, measure it, I just kinda got it down to a science here. So it's kinda like, it's enough. It's enough to get all of it wet. Mix it around here, and I've got two steps, okay? First step here is one minute in the microwave. Kind of cook it by itself, get it a little thick to start out with before we start adding ingredients. So, 30, 30. All right, there's a minute down. It should be, you know, pretty thick there because we're gonna add some liquid ingredients. We're gonna add the uh, egg whites in here so if you want to come in here a little bit I'll show you how much uh, if you're tracking your macros you can put this on a scale and you get precise but I kind of know I'm looking for about 10 grams of protein here so this is about a hundred hundred grams of egg whites I'll give you about 10 grams of protein and I got some pumpkin puree I love this stuff it's a uh, low carb it'll add volume to all your meals here, whatever you add it to. Um, 150 grams is 10 grams of carbs. So I'm gonna put approximately that in there, maybe a tad less. So what we'll do is we'll mix this up. Get everything evenly distributed here as you can see it's it's turning into almost like a batter like consistency so doing that the eggs are gonna cook a little bit in here you won't taste any eggs I promise it's just the easy way to volumize and add protein so this is not my microwave but I got a pretty good idea of what's gonna be. I usually put a minute and a half at this point. So I've got a minute and a half. Once that's done, we will add our protein. Okay, we don't wanna add our protein until it's pretty much done cooking uh, because you can denature the protein and won't get as much uh, percentage of the protein once you start cooking with it. It's got a certain percent or a certain degree where it starts denaturing. So it's okay to put it back in, you know, for like 30 seconds or so uh, once you put it in there, but I wouldn't do much more because it's gonna take away the value. Skin in there now. All right, so this is what it usually looks like when I do it at home, so it's pretty close. So in the middle, it's still batter-like. On the outside, you've got you can see more of an egg resemblance, but we'll mix that all together. 
and we're going to give it one more one more 30 second round uh, once you add the protein powder it's going to thicken it up anyway but i i like it pretty thick you know uh, this would be fine right now to throw in the protein and you'd be good but i like it just a little bit thicker it comes out almost like cake it feels like i'm eating dessert for breakfast All right, guys, this is perfect right here. This is what you want it to look like. It's thick with three C's. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add about half a scoop of protein powder, okay? Um, basically, whatever macros you need to hit, you can make it work. The reason why I like to do about half a scoop is because I like having two of these bowls. It makes me feel like I'm eating a lot and still keeping uh, the calories low. So I'll put about a half in there. Okay. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some cinnamon. Uh, Ceylon cinnamon is the best cinnamon to get. You won't build up any toxicity from it. Some of the other cinnamons you can if you eat a large or high quantity. Uh, so we're gonna mix that together, okay? And you can see is it, it's starting to look pretty thick, like a like a cake consistency. My stomach's growling. Shoo wee. All right, the next ingredient, 100% cacao. Okay, you get this at the grocery store in the baking section. I usually do like a half of a square. That's a little bit, so you can see the gear deli right here. That's a little bit more than half. So I'll take off just a tad bit. Okay, one whole square is eight grams of fat and five carbs. So we're adding about four to five grams of fat. You talk about the one gram of fat in there. So we're looking at about five grams of fat, uh, 20 carbs there, 10 from the pumpkin, 35 from there. So looking at about 35 carbs, uh, the protein, half of this, is about 15 grams of protein plus the 10 grams from the egg whites and maybe some trace protein from this other stuff so looking at about 30 grams of protein and about uh, around uh, 35 carbs so great pre-workout meal um, great post-workout meal it's you know it's fast digesting it's not going to be heavy on your stomach and as you can see i'm working this working this chocolate in and i promise you it tastes like a chocolate chip cookie with that chocolate in there and especially depending on what kind of what kind of protein that you use uh, one more thing that's a must pink sea salt okay I like to do five cranks per meal. So that's up to you. Uh, we just got done an hour of fasted cardio. So uh, sweat a little bit. So putting the electrolytes back in. But guys, give this a shot. Uh, you can make it however you want to. Just play around with it. Uh, it's a great addition uh, to your diet. And it's quick to make. So there you go. Like, share, subscribe if you want to see more kitchen stuff. Let me know. I've got hundreds of food hacks like this. I just, I don't think like, oh, that might be something interesting that they would want to see. But I've been on this breakfast for a minute now, so wanted to relay that information to y'all. So I appreciate it, and God bless. See you next time.